Hello friends, myself Jyotsna Seni, Assistant Professor of Arts in Biani Group of Colleges on the behalf of Guru KPO welcomes you. Today I am going to deliver a lesson on grammar that is the topic 8 part of speeches. As we know students that what do you mean by speech? Whatever I am speaking right now in front of you, it's all mixture of letters, words and the sentences. Did, did you ever think that where are, where are these comes from? This is come, coming from the eight part of speeches. Today, we will discuss about what are eight part of speeches. Number one, we have noun. What do you mean by noun? Pronoun, adjectives, verb, adverbs, preposition, conjunction, interjection. It's a blend of eight part of speeches. Number one, we will going to discuss about noun. What is a noun? Noun, as we know from the childhood itself, noun is the name of person, place, animal and thing. Any person, for example, if I say Ram, Ram is the name of a person, we can say that Ram is a noun. Place, Jaipur, Jaipur is a pink city, so we can say Jaipur is a noun. Okay, dog is a faithful animal, dog. What is dog? Dog is a noun. Again, a pen is mightier than the sword. Pen. Pen is what? It's a noun. Now, noun can be divided into four more categories. Number one. Proper noun. What is a proper noun? Proper noun means a name which is given to a proper person, proper place, proper thing or proper animal. Second is a common noun. Common noun which is used by a common people. For example, pen, copy, Mohan, Ram, Sita etc. which is a common name for all. Material noun. What is a material noun? Anything which is made up of some of the material. For example, the ring is made up of gold if I say. So what is a ring? A ring is made up of gold. So here gold is a material noun. Now abstract noun. What is an abstract noun? Any feeling coming out from any person. We can say the love is important in everybody's life. Here the love is what? Love is the abstract noun. Second comes this pronoun. The word which comes in place of a noun is known as pronoun. For example, if I say Ram is a boy, if I don't know the name of Ram, I can say Ram. What is a Ram? Ram is a male. So I can say he. He is a boy. So instead of Ram, I'm using he. What is he? He is now, we can say it's a pronoun. Adjectives. Adjective means anything, any word which qualifies a noun or a pronoun. For example, if I say Ram, Ram, I can say Ram has a good qualities like Ram is a brave, Ram is smart, Ram is taller, Ram is slim. So this smart, tall, slim, what is this? These are all adjective. The quality which qualifies a noun here. Next is the verb. What is the verb? Verb means any action performed by a doer or a noun or a pronoun is a verb. Verb is very important in a subject when we take the sentence making. Next come is the adverb. What is an adverb? Adverb means that the quality which a verb has. For example, verb means what is an action? The action performed by a particular person. If I say the Ram is playing. So here playing is what? It's a verb. And now if I say Ram is playing very beautifully, that means the verb, the very beautifully is a word which is qualifying a verb. Okay, an action that is an adverb. So, is playing beautifully. Beautifully is an adverb. Now we can switch over to prepositions. Number six part of speech is preposition. Preposition means the word which helps the sentence making, which helps the sentence in making the sentence more powerful, more attractive. Without preposition, we cannot switch over. The meaning cannot come out from the sentence, isn't it? For example, if I say in. To, for, from, up to, on to, above, below. These are all preposition. The next comes is conjunctions. This is the very most important part of part of speeches. Conjunction means any word which joins two letters, two words, two sentences, two phrases or two clauses. This is the conjunctions. For example, if I say and, but, because, but, Although, but also, either, neither, nor, etc. Last but not the least is the interjection. Interjections are the symbols which represents something. For example, if I say comma, inverted commas, semicolon, colon. These itself has their own features which shows the imitable grace in the sentence, which shows an abstractity in the sentence. 
For example, if I say comma, comma, where should I use comma when I used to pause the sentence? Where should I use the full stop when I stop the sentence? This is all the eight part of speeches. In a very precise manner, I'm going to discuss about the eight part of speeches. For more study material and video lectures, you can log on to our official website www.gurukpo.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you, thank you and thank you.